It's Ch- good. Well, I'm glad he thinks it's good. We're going to make these green beans with tomato sauce. Super easy side coming up right now. I have a bunch of fresh parsley and a bunch of basil from my garden. Use whatever herbs you like. You can put different herbs in here. You can use some mint. That would be really, really good. You could use all parsley. You could use all basil. The more herbs, the better. And this is a very fresh one. Nice summer flavors. So these green beans came in a bag. I think they said that they were already, the stems were removed, but inevitably you're going to find that the stems are not removed from a lot of them. So take your time. You could just snap them off, just like this. Okay, they just pop right off. While you're removing these stems, bring a pot of water to boil because we're going to cook these for a few minutes to soften them up and to speed up the process here. Let's heat up to medium low and let's make our sauce. And this is an easy sauce. I've had people getting mad at me saying, you know how to do it, but I don't. You're saying to lower the heat, raise the heat, do this. It's almost like they want an exact instruction of medium heat, low heat, high heat at every point. They want like itemized instruction. And I do try to make my list as much as I can. But listen guys, this is a 12,000 BTU burner. If you have a 15,000 BTU burner, medium heat is going to be different on them. If you have a low small burner on your stove and some stoves are constructed that way it's going to be even lower you really want to learn how to cook and by learning how to cook you're going to know when your heat's a little too high and you need to lower it when things are bubbling a little too much etc all right that's enough of that i'm putting in some extra virgin olive oil but you can use regular olive oil too about a quarter cup to start like kind of coat the bottom you don't need to take out a measuring device or anything like that you'll you'll be fine let's get our onions in and we're gonna cook these for about three minutes to soften them. We're gonna cook them a little bit ahead of the garlic. You let these onions cook for about three to five minutes until they get lightly translucent. So I put the garlic in a couple minutes ago. I think I lost that footage there, so what the heck's going on with my camera? Put in a little hot pepper if you like. If you don't like it, don't use it. And you let that hot pepper cook in the oil for about 20, 30 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna get the tomatoes in. And bring this sauce to a simmer. Might have to turn your heat to medium temporarily. Once it starts getting a little bubbly, bring it back down. Just you want it to little tiny bubbles to cook. Let it reduce a little bit. My water's boiling right here. A little bit of salt in your water. About two tablespoons. All right, so the green beans have gone for about five minutes. They're bright green, they're cooked. I mean, they're, they're already cooked through, but we want them to cook in here instead of just making them super soft here because we want them to absorb the sauce. Let the beans cook for at least five minutes here, but it could be 15, 20. Really, it, this is going to be how you like them and how soft you like them. The tomato, as you let this cook and you let it simmer, it's gonna thicken and it's gonna kind of grab those beans. So you can cook this uncovered. If you cook it covered, you're gonna keep more of the liquid in there. And if you cook it uncovered, the sauce is gonna thicken further. I'm gonna cook it uncovered right now. There's enough tomato in here. I want some of it to reduce. It's been about 10 minutes. So five minutes of cooking in boiling water and 10 minutes 
here, they could easily go another 10, 20 minutes. So fork goes right through it. They're starting to bend. Some of the beans are starting to open. Some of them are starting to come out. See that how soft that is? It's like they're breaking apart. I'm gonna turn that heat off. And then we have our parsley and all the basil. And right when that basil hits, you can just smell it. It smells so good. I am gonna put a little bit more salt. I like it. They're not out of our garden, but that is good. That's one thing when you grow green beans. Thank you.